warmed up a little bit and I was able to get the bed ends out on this so this isn't going to be one of my big tours I'm actually just going to kind of stick this on the end of my original tour so if you're seeing this stay tuned when I'm done with this very quick flyby walkthrough you'll get one of my normal walkthroughs where I go all around the trailer and try to share more in-depth information on it didn't really see the sense in chewing my cabbage twice did, uh, especially when you know there's nothing wrong with the original footage but I wanted you folks to uh, have a chance to get to see this one when it was open. Because like I said, you'll get to see why I call it the rocket ship with the two wings opened up here. Let's also give us a better look at the canvas section of the bed tents and everything. Everything looks pretty darn good there. I do see a couple spots where it is patched, so I am glad that we got this open for you. The uh, front one... does look a little stained up that's not uncommon on some used hybrids and anything with a soft side material it's going to happen to some degree eventually anyway just give you a big quick pass through fly by here while she's open This is where it makes a big difference back here, having these beds open. It just makes the trailer feel, well, it's basically as wide as it is long back in this section. And that's pretty much it. I did notice on a second pass through, it's slightly, a little bit discolored right here, but it's solid. And it's not cold enough to be frozen right now. So I don't know if that's just from floor cleansers or if just maybe when people step out of the shower, they drip on the floor a little bit. Either way, um, it's it looks a little discolored, but it's obviously not molded and it's not um, delaminated or anything. So it's just cosmetic. But hey, figured I'd point it out while I looked at it. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Again, stay tuned for one of my full informational walkthrough tours. Thanks, guys. Very lightweight little Cub Triple Hybrid here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 4,465 pounds. So uh, tow package SUV towable. They keep the weight down on this because basically the entire shell of a camper is laminated. Sidewalls, roof, floor, everything is uh, laminated to keep the weight down. Um, story goes as such, because this is a pretty clean little camper. Uh, current, well I guess not technically current anymore, but previous, oh, look at that, there's their fifth wheel right there. They, uh, they were done with family camping and they bought that uh, big fifth wheel that you see over there, that beautiful Cedar Creek. It's a big triple slide with a bedroom slide. I'm going to have to get out of the way because they're getting ready to pull out here. So pardon me, I'm moving pretty quick. But uh, long story short, they were just done with family camping and uh, went for the big couple's fifth wheel. Don't know if they're going to be towing or just parking or anything. Um, hey, Scott, they need their license plate. Okay. Yeah, I'm just making sure they didn't lose their license plate. In Michigan, we throw them away. In a lot of states, you keep them and you renew them. We have non-renewable plates in Michigan for those out of state curious as to why I'm shouting for that guy. Look at that. So like I said, traded in the uh, couple's coach for the big fifth wheel. Um, they have uh, roof vent covers over your roof vents so you can leave those open in the rain. It is chilly this morning. That's why I don't have the hybrid beds out. The material can't relax properly. And I don't want to overstretch it and tear it because then, you know, you probably wouldn't want this fifth wheel. And I wouldn't, or pardon me, trailer, and I wouldn't uh, blame you up on the off chance this thing still is here we will uh reshoot some footage with her open though i doubt it's going to last that long especially a clean one like this if i put the phrase used in there with the word hybrid boom, go on that's all it takes so we've got a sofa slide over here to give us some nice walking space in between pardon the uh cushions again those are the that's the front bed bunk right there um i uh just don't have a good place to store it while the uh, beds are in but look at your upholsteries and everything. Very, very clean. There's nothing to be afraid of anywhere whatsoever on this trailer. It is in great shape. Everything's in good working order. Here in the uh, living area, they have a, a bigger fan. In the bathroom, they have a little smaller fan. But again, both fans uh, do have those roof vent covers on them. I love the lighter wood tones and lighter wall paneling in here. It makes a small trailer look not so small full-size fridge which is nice because a lot of smaller hybrids do have a little five cubic foot small fridge 
uh, whereas this one does have the full size fridge. Dinette and sofa can both fold down into little extra sleeping spaces, though with a triple hybrid you won't need it. We've had this model in stock before, I call it the spaceship, because when it's opened up, you've got a front hybrid bed and then two side ones like wings, and this thing looks like a rocket getting ready to take off in outer space, it's pretty cool. This is a, uh, a big floor to ceiling type closet, so you've got lots of good storage space right there. Um, again, hybrid bed on this side, hybrid bed on this side. When she's open, it is just wide open in here. Um, the extra little stand here is a nice touch too because you can have a, a little TV station on the back wall, though you can see that they never screwed anything into the wall. They never had one put in here. The extra mirror, again, just for extra light reflecting around to make it look nice and bright in here. Give you a quick peek at the bathroom, and we're just about done. Short and sweet, and that's all it really takes on this one. Um, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care, stay safe, happy camping, have some fun.